Okay, hey Aries. Um, I came off camera to come give you guys a general spread for today. Remember Aries, this spread I pulled for you guys, this is a general timeless spread, all right? Um, so for some of you guys, some of these messages that I have here today, they may or may not um, resonate with some of you right now. If you come back and check out some of my messages later on in the future, um, Aries, some of these messages that I have here today for you guys, they may resonate with some of you guys later on down the line. All right, so I need for you guys to take what's yours today. Whatever's not for you, leave it for the next person. Also, you guys, if you have not already, Aries, please do not forget to hit the like button um, and to subscribe to subscribe to this channel over here so we can grow the energy for you guys, okay? Um, also, like I said, um, Aries, only take what's yours, okay? Um, if it's not for you, do not receive it. Only take what resonates with you, all right? So um, we're going to go ahead and jump into these messages and see what it is that spirit is needing for some of you guys to know as of today, all right? So the first card that flew out for you guys is we have the Divine Protection card, okay? We have angel number 333, which is for angels sending you in support, okay? So, Aries, I definitely feel like you guys are definitely about to receive some form of support, okay? You could be seeing this uh, angel number 333 a lot, okay? Um, we also have the passed over mother card, okay? So, Aries, I definitely feel like a lot of you guys, you have some form of divine protection. I feel like you guys have a passed over mother that's definitely protecting you right now. I feel like this mother is definitely about to send you in some form of support, okay? because look at this next card here we have the blockages removed all right and then we look we have the balance restored or restored balance okay so Aries I definitely feel like for some of you guys I feel like this Passover mother for some of you guys is coming in to re definitely remove some form of blockages from you okay something in your life right now is blocking you or trying to block you okay for some of you guys, whatever this is, I feel like it is definitely leaving you in balance, okay? So whatever this um, whatever this is that's about to get removed for you, Aries, I feel like once this is removed, it's going to be able to restore your balance, okay? Um, I definitely feel like you're about to receive some form of support, okay? Um, we have the letters A, F, L, C, D, J, N, W. Could be significant here. First, middle, last name, initial, all right? But we also have, look, ancestors are helping you. But look at this next card. We have, it's okay to let your guard down, okay? So, Aries, I definitely feel like right now, for some of you guys, you are very guarded right now, okay? A lot of you guys, you have your guards up a lot. And I feel like for some of you guys, whatever this is that's having you in this energy... I feel like this passed over mother for some of you guys is definitely coming in to definitely remove whatever this is, okay? Because something has you real guarded right now. And I'm definitely picking up for some of you Aries. It's a lot of people in your energy right now who are not to be trusted, okay? This is why I feel like for some of you guys, you also have some form of guard up, okay? But something, some form of help is coming in to clear this out for you, okay? You're going to be back balanced, all right? Um, but look, we have the intimidated. We have Earth Angel. For some of you guys, Aries, I feel like you guys have a lot of people right now intimidated. 333 on the clock. That you are some form of Earth Angel, okay? Look at this next card. We have the Unstoppable, okay? So, Aries, I definitely feel like you have people right now that is definitely intimidated, all right? Some of you guys, I feel like you are, like I said, some form of earth angel. And I feel like you have a lot of people in your energy right now that's trying to stop you, okay? This is why I feel like for some of you guys, this Passover mother is sending you in some support, okay? Because for some of you guys, if you are some form of earth angel, Aries, you have a job here to do, okay? You have some form of life purpose here. And these people that's trying to um, stop you and interfere with you, these people have to be removed, okay? Because we have the unstoppable. Look, we have they are a distraction. We have tables have turned. Karma, okay? So for some of you guys, Aries, like I said, these people that's definitely trying to block you, these people are trying to distract you. And for some of you guys, these people are trying to distract you. What you were called here to do. We have 444 on the clock. You're protected, okay? Whatever this is, okay? Because I'm definitely am picking up for some of you guys. You have a job here to do, okay? And these people cannot keep stepping in front of you trying to distract you, 
okay? For some of you guys, these are people who's trying to block you. These are the blockages that have to be removed for you to move forward or for you to allow you to be able to let your guard down and not be guarded, okay? We have the tables have turned, though. Whatever these people try to do to stop you, the tables have turned. These people are receiving karma or they're about to receive karma for definitely trying to, like I said, distract you on some form of path that you're on, okay? We have the older air sign. We have Libra out here, okay? So for some of you guys, this could be an older air sign. For some of you guys, this could be a Libra or this could be a Gemini or Aquarius. Take it how it resonates for some of you guys, okay? We also have water signs. And we have the Scorpio card that flew out here, okay? So this could be a water sign for some of you guys, a Scorpio, but this could be a Cancer or a Pisces also, okay? Look at this next card, y'all. 555 five, five on the clock, something's changing. We have the dark magic. Manipulating energy, okay? So for some of you guys, Aries, these people, for some of these people, were definitely trying to use some form of dark magic. Definitely a lot of manipulating energy to try to distract you, to try to stop you. Whatever this is, they were doing to block you. For some of you guys, somebody was dabbling in some magic, okay? Whoever these people are, though, that was definitely trying to mess with some magic to manipulate you or whatever this is, these people are receiving karma. And they got to be crazy to think that they're not going to receive karma for doing magic on the earth angel, Okay? Look at this. We have the neighbor's card, okay? So for some of you guys, Aries, this could be your neighbors that was definitely doing something to distract you from your life purpose. Whatever it is that you are meant here to do. Because whoever I'm picking up on, like I said, you are here because you have a job to do. All right? For some of you guys, this was your neighbors. Look, we have the January. For some of you guys, these people were doing this in the month of January, okay? A lot of distraction, a lot of magic being pulled, okay? Just to just to distract you, okay? Black sheep. This could have been your family, okay? 717 was on the clock. This could have been your family who was trying to definitely distract you, who was definitely trying to stop you, okay? I'm definitely picking up Aries. For some of you, majority of you guys, you are the black sheep of the family. You are the one to break some form of generational curse, okay? But look here. We have the divine protection, we have continued on your path. Look, we have the healing. For some of you guys, I feel like you have some form of purpose here. And I feel like it has to definitely involve around your healing. Okay? You healing yourself, um, Aries, I feel like this was is part of some form of a part of your life purpose. Okay? You healing is breaking some form of generational um, curse. This is why I feel like the Black Sheep card came out. All right. So for some of you guys, you are healing. You healing. For some of you guys, you're going through some form of deep healing around abandonment issues, from healing from past traumas, healing from childhood issues. OK, your purpose is to break some form of generational curse. And I definitely feel like it is involving your you healing yourself. OK, this is why I feel like the black sheep came out. You have family that's not wanting you to do that. Look, we have your angels are with you. We have Passover loved one with you. We have divine guidance, angel number 777. Some of you guys could be seeing this angel number a lot. Just know, continue on your path, Aries. Just know you have a Passover loved one. For some of you guys, this mother is guiding your footsteps through this all, okay? Because I feel like you guys got a lot of people right now that they're trying to come after you. They're trying to distract you because these people know you have a purpose here. You are an earth angel. You are here to do something, okay? Just know that your your ancestors and your angels are guiding your footsteps right now. You're protected, okay? And like I said, you could be seeing this angel number 777 a lot. Just know you're protected and you're being guided right now, okay? You're definitely going to receive some form of support also, okay, Aries? All right? So I'm going to pull you guys a... Ooh, sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to pull you guys a... um. A uh, angels and ancestors uh, card from the angel and ancestors oracle deck and see any additional messages that you guys need to hear as of today okay any messages for my Aries 
any additional messages for my airy spirit. Okay, let me get that one. Let's see what that say. All right, hold on, y'all. Okay, so the card that flew out for you guys is we have the Elder card, Aries, okay? And this speaks of move beyond ancestral patterns, okay? All right, that's why I said you, you guys are here to, to break a generational curse, okay? Let's see what the Elder speaks of, though, okay? Let's see. Elder, okay? All right, so this Elder card, Aries, speaks of move beyond the limitations that have been set for you by family members past and present. Know that the energy of your spirit is more powerful than genetics and behavioral patterns, okay? So like I said, Aries, if this is regarding your family, you were meant here to definitely fulfill some form of purpose. 11, 11 on the clock. For some of you guys, you are doing some form of deep healing that I feel like a lot of you, you guys, your family could not do. You are the generational curse breaker, okay? You are changing something regarding your ancestors, the pattern around family members, okay? You're breaking some form of curse, okay? All right? Um, the elder is the ancestor who comes with a message of healing change. See? We have, he is an embodied soul. Yet he has had journeys that go beyond the physical. Therefore, he represents a re reclamation of power. When he appears, it's an acknowledgement that you have the capacity to move beyond the limitations that have been placed upon you, okay? Like I said, Aries, you were chosen to be the one to break some form of curse, okay? And I feel like a lot of people right now, they are very much so intimidated by you, okay? If this is family, 12, 12 on the clock, and they're trying to distract you, they're trying to take you off your path, okay? But just know, uh, Aries, you are being guided right now, okay? Through all of this, okay? And the people who's trying to distract you and trying to take you off this path, these people are going to receive karma. Because like I said, these people were dabbling in dark magic to definitely try to stop you for doing something that you were called here to do, okay? All right? So that's what I have for you, Aries. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel. And I will speak with you guys in a minute. And I love y'all so much. Bye.